The door. Oh, that looks official. them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. Mimi! Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Don't lie, Mimi! You served Odin from the day you met to the day you put you in that tree! You saw his favor. You watched him get You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never get a right until you turn on you. I know, Secret. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor of the world, an ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Groot? Or to Tanya? No! You are to the side of the powerful dead! You dead! Brother, watch out! There's four of them! Even now, you see a violent god in me and you can't help but aid him and call him brother! And who you are is Who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mimir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why did he trust your own son? Why would you see him the way he wants to be seen? Oh, <laughs> 
Pass the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Why don't she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Do you have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Away. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Oh. 
Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. Hmm. <laughs>